everyone! Welcome to my channel and welcome to another edition of Subscription Box Sunday. Today, I have six different boxes to share with you guys. First up, I have a haul from the Skin Store to share with you guys. Then we have the Southern Fleek Bath Box for March. We have the Historic Cartoon Set from the History by Mail subscription. We have the Slay Glam Box, the Fruit for Thought Box, and my Paid For Boxy Lux for March. And with that, welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there. A welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina, and on my channel, I unbox lots of different subscription boxes. And on Sundays, I like to unbox multiple subscriptions in one video so you can see them all at once. So if you like these Sunday videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. And let's dive in. I am so happy that you're here hanging out with me today, unboxing all of these boxes. It has been a rough week, y'all. It's been a busy week, and I am so ready to relax this weekend. As you know, I film these typically on Thursdays. They go up on Sundays, so I am ready to like relax. I have no idea what I'm gonna do, but I'm ready to do a whole lot of nothing, pretty much. Now, I'm gonna kick things off with my skin store order slash haul. Now, if you're unfamiliar with skin store, they, I believe, are like owned by the same people that own like Look Fantastic, and basically skin store is an online skincare retailer, and they have so many good brands on that site. They did reach out to me and partner with me. So this was sent to me free for review and, and I'm really excited. I get to pick the stuff that I got based on their website and y'all like they have some of my like everyday products and they tend to have like good sales and stuff. They did give me a coupon code, um, sub box lover, which I'll leave down in the description box below where you can get 25% off some products and I have a link down in the description box that will show you which products those are. It's a ton of them, but there's some products um, that don't have that 25% off discount code. So if you go through the link, you'll see, I mean, I think like they have my real technique sponges that I love that you can get. I didn't get those in the haul today, but like those are a like ride or die for me. I just didn't need them. So you can get 25% off there. They have rituals. They have so many good brands. Like they have before, like, oh, they have good stuff out there. Like so, so, so many brands. Um, and then the, that code, the Subbox Lover code will also give you 10% off sale products. So I have links to both the 25% off and the 10% off if you use my code, just so that it's a little bit more clear. I'm gonna also link just the regular website as well. But if you use code Subbox Lover, you can get 25% off the specific products or 10% off all sale products. And like I said, that 25% off, it's like, 80 pages of something like 70 pages. like it's like a, a ton of stuff that you can get and everything that I am showing in the haul today came from that 25% category so like all of this would be stuff that you would get 25% off for I definitely will be doing my skincare shopping there because it has so many good brands that like you can't get at like retailers here like in a bundle all together oh sneak peek my first product that I got so the first thing that I got I might as well is some rituals if you guys have watched my channel long enough and watched some of my past favorites, I haven't been doing favorites videos. Do you guys want to see favorites videos? I don't even know. I really love Rituals products. Um, and the Ritual of Sakura is one of my favorite like scents in their line. Their lotion is my favorite. And um, typically, this is going to be TMI. Typically Thursdays after I'm done filming, I take a bubble bath and I shave my legs and I put the Rituals of Sakura lotion on. This That's like my Thursday ritual. Um, now this is not lotion, obviously. This is their... Um, flourishing hair and body mists in the cherry blossom scent. I just love the cherry blossom scent. And I just thought this would be, I, I, I got it more for the idea of a hair mist because I don't know, you know, when you have day two, day three hair, sometimes it smells a little bit like stale and obviously dry shampoo can help, but I'm like, something like this would be really nice. This has obviously a more like spa-like smell to it because if you're familiar with Rituals products, they tend to have more of a spa-like smell, but again, could be used as a little body thing as well. And the packaging is so pretty and it does have that like light wood on the top like it does when you purchase their, um, the Sakura body lotion as well. So very excited for this. All right, up next, I got something from PMD. This is their Cleanse Soothing Antioxidant Cleanser. So I was looking for a cleanser that had a pump on it because like in the mornings, I I'm a morning shower. Um, and in the mornings I like, like when I get in the shower, I like to like pump and go. Like I don't want to open a cap. Like, I don't know, that's too much work for me, which lazy, I know. So I was looking for another cleanser with a pump because I don't have a lot in my back stock right now. And the packaging on this one is super pretty. So it is frosted plastic. I don't know if I've ever tried a cleanser from PMD before. I think, aren't they the ones that have like the vibrating things, which I think you may be able to get on the site. They definitely have like skincare tools as well. Um, so the key ingredients are hydropeptides, Papapin, papain, 
pain, <laughs> gentle surfactants, and neroli essential oil. Um, so this breaks down dirt oil um, from within the pores and deeply removes the skin's impurities without stripping away the skin's protected li lipid barrier. Um, so again, I got it because it had the little pump <laughs> and I wanted another cleanser with a pump just because like I said, I don't have a lot of those. And I just wanted to try out like some, I've never tried um, a PMD cleanser before, so I thought it'd be fun. Now I did, when I placed the order, I did also get a DHC oil cleanser, which I've, or DLC, DHC. I've tried it before and I really love it, but that one shipped separately from this and hasn't gotten here yet. So I was like, but I still wanted to include this in this week's video. So maybe I'll include it in next week's subscription box Sunday, but like they've got like really good brands on there, y'all. And they also have brands that I've never heard about before and I'm getting one of them. This is from Akona and this is their cranberry toner. I'm also kind of getting low on toners the, and the I do not like a spray toner. I don't like it. I, don't, I like dunking it onto a cotton pad. I don't know what it is and I don't really like toners that have exfoliating properties in them because that's not why I use a toner to help remove the excess makeup and I just don't I don't want to have a toner that like is too abrasive. I just am looking for like a gentle toner. And this is what it looks like. So it, I had to shake it up because it does have little sparklies in it, which is super fun. So this is their cranberry toner. It, um, I think opens. So it opens like that. Oh, the lid is just huge. I don't know if it smells like cranberry, but it's the kind that you dunk out, which is the kind that I like, which is why I picked this. And because I've never tried this brand before, I thought it'd be fun to try it out. Um, so it helps to cleanse, tone, and remove makeup. So it says this three-in-one cranberry milk toner cleanses, tones, and hydrates, infusing skin with protective antioxidants to leave it glowing and refresh. It removes dirt, oil, and makeup, and helps protect and clarify skin with cranberry extract um, containing vitamins, phytonutrients, and essential fatty acids. Um, so I'm excited. I was needing another toner. So I was like going in and like picking the stuff that I need. Like I said, I would have gotten the real technique sponges, but I already have like a set. I still have like three or more. So I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. But got another little toner. Then another thing I got is an absolute essential for me. This is from Eco Tools and this is their makeup brush and sponge shampoo. I use this to clean all of my brushes and sponges and all that fun stuff and I love this. It's um, fragrance free dermatologist tested. Um, it says for a deep weekly cleanse. I wash my brushes like once every two months but um, this is a great cleanser. It is sealed. Um, I have one open right now um, so I'm just adding this one to my back sock so that I have a brush cleanser but this one is one that I've used and I do really really enjoy. The Eco Tools one. Okay now the next product I'm very excited about but it's probably I kind of may have gotten this preemptively because I'm working on, I'm not gonna grow out my hair super long, but I'm growing out my hair. And if I don't like it, I'll cut it back short again. But I thought it would be fun to try some heatless curls on it. I think, I mean, I could try it on my hair right now. I do think it's gonna need to be a little bit longer to do the heatless curls. Um, but I got this from um, Mermaid Hair. They had tons of products from Mermaid Hair, which um, I believe is an Australian brand. And I was tempted to try some other things, but I'm like, no, let's go with this one. They have sprays and potions and lotions and all that kind of stuff for your hair. Um, so this comes with 100% mulberry silk rod that's cotton filled, two 100% mulberry silk scrunchies, and one claw clip, which I guess is what you need to do this. And this is what it looks like when you open it up. So it's everything you need and it also gives you the instructions. I will say that this is so silky and soft. So I'm really excited. Oh, it's kind of squishy too. Um, so I'm really excited to try this. Like I said, I might try it on a day where like it doesn't really matter what my hair looks like just to see if it will work with my shorter hair. Let me know. Have you, if you have shorter hair, have you used this or will it work? It has a little claw clip when you like put it up and then it also has little scrunchies that you can use at the ends. These are so soft. Um, so I got this cause I just like wanted to try it and I was like, okay, let me just try it here. Um, this will be a really fun way to kind of like I don't know. I just thought it'd be fun because I'm somebody who like, I don't have time to do like heat styling on my hair or styling on my hair in general. Um, so this is like an easy way to just whoop, put it up and go with it. So we'll see. I don't even know how good this works. Even if you have long hair, or if it'll work with my hair, but it's like, I want to try it out. So those are just some of the many products that you can get. So if you're looking for anything, skincare, hair care, I mean, they have like so much good stuff and so many brands, like hundreds of brands um, on there. And yeah, I just, I am actually really excited and I'm gonna go back and buy stuff on my own there probably now. Um, Cause when I did this, I didn't have my coupon, but I'm excited to go in and use my 25% um, off code um, on some of those products. So definitely let me know your thoughts. Have you tried any of these products? Do you wanna try any of these products? Definitely check out like what's out on the site and let me know like, what are you excited about? What are the brands? What are things that I should try? 
that's it. Go out, look at this stuff, look at all the brands. You may have tried some of the stuff and let me know things that you want me to try in the future because maybe I could do like a separate video on that. But again, I do have the code SUBBOXLOVER down below. They can get you 25% off most of the products. There'll be a link to those and then also a, an additional 10% off sale items. All right, up next, let's dive into the Southern Fleet Bath Box, which is probably one of my favorite boxes to unbox. I love this box so much. And if you're unfamiliar with the Southern Fleet Bath Box, this is a monthly bath subscription where you get things like bath bombs, bubble bars, lotions. Um, I don't, have we gotten a lotion before? I don't know. Ba body washes, all sorts of fun bath products that are themed kind of based on the month or the season or each month has its own theme. The box is $49.99 a month. Um, and I do have a code subboxlover where if you purchase from her Etsy page, you can get a discount. Oh, and you open up the box. That is what it looks like. And all these, I've, or most of the products in here are handmade by her, which is great. Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells so good and it looks so cute. This is definitely like a March, like St. Patrick's Day theme and I am obsessed. You also get a little like lucky four leaf clover sticker where she like wrote lucky on it, which is so cute. And yeah, it is a little sticker. And then you do get the little list of everything inside of the box. Oh, it says, don't forget your clover sticker that has a discount code word for $20 off $100 or more order on her Etsy shop. So. There you go, you lose, use code LUCKY for $20 off $100. Oh, that's very exciting. And then there are one, two, three, four, five, six different products inside. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. First of all, this box smells incredible. And just second of all, like I'm, mm, what I'm seeing is making me so excited. I love a good themed bath box and this looks like it is taking all the marks. The first thing that I'm pulling out is this here. Oh my goodness. This is the Shamrock Cupcake, or it calls it here the um, Irish Cupcake Bath Bomb. So it says here, enjoy fluffy bubbles and bright green moisturizing water. This sweet, refreshing fragrance has top notes of cream pistachio, middle notes of pineapple, and bottom notes of tart lime. Oh, it does smell really fruity. Oh my gosh. And basically the way that these like cupcake bath bombs work and let me just like double check. Yeah. So the frosting on top is a bubble bar and then the cupcake part of it is a bath bomb. So you drop the bath bomb and you separate them, you drop the bath bomb in and then you want to like use, I've usually put my bath, my bubble bars like in a sieve under the water. Or you want to crumble it with your fingers. It needs some sort of friction or agitation to create those bubbles. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. It is so cute. Oh my gosh. We're continuing with the cuteness. We have a pot of gold bath bomb. Excuse me. Um, it says this gold shimmery bath treat is a moisturizing bath bomb and a bubble bath at the same time. Just dissolve under running water. This is scented in a duplication of Skittles, not affiliated with the, that company. Oh, I can smell the Skittles through it. Oh, it smells so good. It kind of has like that, like a fruit loopy type of scent too, which it's perfect for a March theme box. I feel like you have to have like a Fruit Loopy Skittles type scent in a March box. It just, it's necessary. And I don't know why, but like the March themed bath bomb boxes are always my favorites. And I don't know why, but I am obsessed. And it comes in a little like cauldron-y thing. Oh, a little pot of gold. Ooh, up next we have a little shower steamer and it has a little three leaf clover on it. So this is a lemongrass lime shower steamer. Um, this is powerful and refreshing. You place or hang where the water will splash to enjoy a spa experience in your own bathroom. So yay, yeah, you don't want this in the direct stream of the water. Turn the water up hot, shut the door and close the space and it will create such a beautiful aromatic experience. This one smells really good. Oh, I love a good shower steamer. Very relaxing and I just love that it has a little clover on it for that extra added detail. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's a little like hockey puck shaped bath bomb. It says, shake your shamrock. This is the shake your shamrock bath bomb. This yummy bath bomb will make you feel extra lucky. It streams beautiful colors in your tub and is scented in an equally fun scent. Top notes of berries, middle notes of bubbles, and bottom notes of jam. Oh, I don't even know what bubbles smell like, but this smells good. It smells very like fruity, berry, yummy. Oh, that smells so good. And I'm wondering if there's like rainbow embeds inside or what colors are inside because there's blue on top, but I bet the embeds are like such fun colors. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, I'm obsessed, it's fine. <laughs> Ooh, up next we have a sugar scrub. This is the Lucky Blue Moon Sugar Scrub. It's as moisturized and exfoliate at the same time with this sweet treat. Top notes of sugar, middle notes of marshmallow, and bottom notes of cotton candy. Not aff affiliated with General Mills. Oh, I don't, oh, it's the blue. Is it the Blue Moons and the Lucky Charms? Okay, well, I'm gonna open this up the wrong way. It does have like a protective layer of plastic there. 
<laughs> mm, that is yummy. Oh, that is so nice. I love these little whipped sugar soap scrubs. Hers are really, really like moisturizing. Um, and they do open like a flip top. Well, if I can open it, like flip top. Obviously there's, like I said, that plastic layer that you have to remove, but really, really nice sugar scrub. Oh, and last but not least, we have four leaf clover shaped bath bomb. This is the Lucky You Bath Bomb. It says this huge bath bomb will make your water soft and shimmery, scented in the bright, refreshing scent Awaken. Top notes of lemon drop candy, middle notes of citrus on a bed of lemongrass. Oh, that smells so good. It's like that lemony, citrusy, limey type scent. Oh, I'm obsessed. This is like, these scents are very March and I don't really know how else to describe it, but I love it. All right, and that is everything in the Southern Fleet bath box for March. Y'all know, you can see how happy I am. This is one of my favorite boxes to unbox. And the scents are genuinely like, so good. Oh, the theme is so on theme for March and I just love that. I love a well-themed box. This is absolutely, every month this is a well-themed box and I love it. It's a small woman-owned business. So um, again, I will leave that link down below in case you're interested in signing up. And if you sign up with my code SUBBOXLOVER on their Etsy page, then you can get a discount. All right, up next, let's dive into this History of Cartoons box by History by Mail. Now, this is not a subscription. This is a one-time purchase. But if you're curious about their subscription, basically each month you get a letter in the mail that goes over a historical like letter or information. And so you just get to learn so much about history. Um, it's $6.99 a month for the subscription box. And I've shown it on my channel before, um, but it's a great educational, fun subscription. But they sent me this to share with you guys. This is a one-time purchase. So if you have, if you are a history lover, lover or you have a history lover in your life, or you just have somebody who loves cartoons and thinks this would be interesting, this is great for them. And this is $49.99 on their website. Now they did create a coupon code for me. I think it applies to the subscription. I don't know whether or not it applies to this, but the code is SUBBOXLOVER10 for 10% off. So just FYI, I don't know which one it applies to, but if you're interested in either, go ahead and try it out and see what works. Um, but this, it, this comes in this beautiful um, bamboo keepsake box. It's magnetic. So there's a little magnet there. The box is really, really nice. And it even has this like slit here where I think you could put one of the cards on top if you wanted to as like a display. And so the cards come like this. They are wrapped together. Then you get all of the cards, which we'll, I'll show you some here in a second, but there are over 200 years of historic cartoons in here. So there's 50 cards that touch upon major moments in American history from the colonial period through the civil rights era. They're printed on um, high quality cardstock. Um, and the original color and style of the cartoon, which is great. Then on the reverse side of the card that we'll get into is a basically a description of the historical context and an explanation of the image. So you can kind of tour yourself through history via cartoons. And I think it's kind of fun because now personally, I do like history. I don't have good memory, so I don't remember anything, but I find history very fascinating. Um, but this could be a fun way to like get somebody, if they like cartoons and things like into history. All right, so the first one that I'm pulling out is this way. They do have some that are faced that way, but I'm going to pull this one out first. So it says, avoiding the draft. I'm assuming the draft maybe to the military and it has like a to Canada bag on it, the drafting office. And this is in New York. Very cool. So this is from around us, 1863 from HD Marson. Um, and then it goes, I'm not going to read this whole thing, but I'll read a little bit just so you get kind of the vibe. So this is the first draft in U.S. history provided manpower for the Union Army during the Civil War. Um, the Civil War Military Draft Act required enrollment of every male citizen and immigrant who had filed for citizenship between the ages of 20 to 45. So there's so much more information, but I'm skipping to the bottom. So this is, in the cartoon, a man in the foreground is running while clutching his passport and a bag that says to Canada, and a draft office is visible in the background. Ironically, many Canadians came to America to fight on both sides of the Civil War, whether for higher wages in the army than they could earn at home or for moral opposition to slavery. The first draft led to the first draft dodgers, the term skedaddle, meaning to run away, and became part of the lexicon during the war to describe deserters and draft dodgers. Very cool, and the draft ended in 1865. So it's so cool, and there's so much that I didn't read there, like, and it's so in, like informational. I can't wait to go through and just learn so much. So I'll kind of like flip through a couple just so you kind of get a vibe of like what's in there. I'll do one more where I like read a little bit more about it, but I just kind of want to like show like what the different like things are inside so you kind of get like an idea. All right, here we go. We'll do this one here. So it says vote for or um, votes for women, the lady and the tiger. Um, so it says the reverse cartoon was published the day after the 1917 New York City mayor, mayor, mayoral, 
mayoral election, and it depicts two of the election's victors, women and Tammany Hall Democrats. A women's suffrage amendment was added to the New York State Constitution and Democratic candidate John Hyland won by a landslide. So it says winning suffrage in New York was symbolic since the state had been home to many of the major characters and events of the women's suffrage movement. Again, it goes through so much more on that there, but it's just a really interesting way to see that. And I love all the different like styles and designs. And there are so many more. Some of them are in color. Some of them are black and white. Like I said, they printed them the way that they um, were, oh, there's Santa Claus. <laughs> they printed in the way that they were, were published. So I think this is so fun. It's so cool. If you have somebody in your life who's like interested in history or would like to get into history, then I think that this is an absolutely great thing to get for them or to treat yourself with. Um, and again, comes with this cute little box. And I think, like I said, like, I think you could just, I think you can, um, and you could just like put a little card on the top like that if you wanted to display it or not. So, um, again, really, really cool set by them. Um, so it'll be a link down below in case you want to purchase this. All right, up next, let's dive into the Slay Glam Box for March. Now I'm going to dive into the regular subscription, but she should have provided something from one of her other subscriptions. But the main subscription that I'm unboxing today is their monthly beauty box where each month you get five to seven beauty items and each um, box has at least one palette. This is a very makeup heavy subscription and so you're looking for a bang for your buck makeup subscription this is the one for you there is no skincare in this box um the box is 24 dollars a month and i do have a coupon code down below for 10 percent off of now this next box is a new box she didn't send me the whole box but she just sent me a couple samples just to kind of show you guys so it's the slay glam box press on nail subscription so if you're a press on nail gal this is for you each month you receive four to five nail sets including the glue in each set for 24 dollars a month and then the lengths of the nails are long medium and short so i got two sets sent to me just so you can see they're really really pretty so i'm guessing these these are short would be my guess. So some really pretty press on nails. It does give you like the application instruction there. So these have kind of like a pretty green and floral with a, some gold in there and then also some little pearls on one of them too, which is really, really cute. It also gives removal instructions as well. Now, I don't know if these are long or medium because I don't know a ton about nails, but this is the next set here. This one's really pretty. It's got the pink and it's kind of like a light pink to... Um, like more bright pink and then it's got some beautiful like little um like diamondy gems that kind of shape a heart if you put those two nails next to each other which yeah they would go next to each other then you can get like a little heart there so some really really cute nail sets if you're somebody who's into nail sets definitely check out the new subscription for the press on nails but now let's dive into the monthly regular beauty subscription and i'm going to start it off with the eyeshadow palette because i love starting with the eyeshadow palette um so this is from rasha b cosmetics and i believe that the owner of slay glam box also owns Rasha B Cosmetics. This is the Goal Digger eyeshadow palette. Super pretty packaging with the um, gold. It looks the same outside of the sleeve. Ooh, okay. So there is a full size mirror here. <gasps> Lots of fun shimmers. Ooh, I really like the color palette. It's really fun because you have a lot of colors to play with, but it still in some ways seems approachable if you're not super into color. Um, so there are three matte shades, which are these top three there, and everything else is some sort of a shimmer or a glitter. Oh my gosh, that that is, it looks blue, but it's a blue to purple fleck. And this is, this is a green to blue there, oh my gosh. And this is a purple to gold. Oh, these are so pretty, and then you've got a nice like dark blue, I can't tell. Oh, like this would be a beautiful blue look. You could use all of those. There's so many fun looks that you can do with this palette. Her shadows are really, really nice. So very excited to have this gold digger palette. Okay, up next, I'm super intrigued by this because this looks very interesting. This is from Drippin' Diamonds Beauty. So it is like blinged out here and there's like a little, like, <gasps> oh, my gosh, y'all, is this a blue felt tip liner? A royal blue, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <gasps> it's purple! <gasps> oh yes, oh I'm a fan of that. Y'all know, at least I'm assuming that this is an eyeliner because it looks like an eyeliner. Um, I don't know why I smelled it, it doesn't smell. <gasps> y'all know, I, I, first of all, I do, when I like do my makeup, I do a wing and I love a felt tip and I love getting fun color felt tips. Even though in my videos all the time, I feel like I'm always wearing black. <gasps> but this beautiful purple color, which I feel like you could do so many fun things like with the palette. Like even if you did like the blue look, you could use that. Oh, 
or like even with like a pinky red look you could have this like purple liner oh my gosh okay i love the bling on it i've never heard of this brand before but i love the bling and i Okay, I'm very happy right now. And I also feel like if you're somebody who is a little bit more cautious about using color, I feel like a colored liner is actually a really fun way to incorporate color because it's so like minimalistic. I mean, I do a big old wing. You could do like a tiny little wing where nobody would really be able to see it. And I just, I love it. Okay, up next we have another Rasha B Cosmetics um, thing. It's an 05 of something. This feels like a mascara, but I could be wrong. So I'm curious to open this up. Oh! <gasps> Is this a purple mascara? Get out. Wait. Oh, I just like, that's obviously not how you use it. This is a purple mascara. Shut the front door. Oh my gosh. So we get a pur I wish I didn't have makeup on so I could put this on right now. Oh my gosh. This together is everything. Oh my gosh. I'm absolutely going to be doing a look with purple liner and purple mascara at some point here because ew, it does. The only thing is it does show like <laughs> you can see my hair is on my hand now. That's disgusting, but that obviously is not how you're supposed to use a mascara. So anyway, use it on your actual lashes. Oh y'all. I'm a happy gal. All right, up next we have two more things from Russia B Cosmetics. These are the multi-chrome liquid eyeshadows. Ooh, her stuff is so stunning. So we have two different ones here. It doesn't say their shade names. I'm gonna go in with the white one and swatch that because I could see myself, I, I mean, I'll use both, but I think that this one is one that I will gravitate towards more. So you get like a little doe foot applicator. I'm dead. Oh my gosh. That is like almost like a shimmer that goes to purple. Those three together, excuse me, what? Oh, that's everything. Okay, I am gonna swatch the other one of this because I have to know. Ooh, that one's really pretty as well. Obviously different, doesn't necessarily go with this, but oh, that pearly white to purple is everything. I mean, this is super pretty as well. And like in like a fall type look even. Oh, okay, I am ready to play with some makeup, y'all. But we're not done. We still have one more product in the box. This is from Shashay. Sh Why can't I not speak? Sashay brand. This is their lipstick and lip liner duo in One Wish 07. Let's see. All right, so this is what it looks like. So on one side, you have the lipstick, which we're gonna, I guess we'll swatch a little bit of that. Ooh. <gasps> Look how creamy that pink is. Honestly, would go with that purple like look that I might do at some point. Ooh, okay. And then on the other side, you have the lip liner. Ooh, I kind of love the liner being with the lip. I feel like that needs to happen more often. Not that I ever wear a lip liner, because y'all know I don't really. But that lipstick is super creamy, super pretty. I've never heard of the brand before, but y'all, this is a good box for $24. Excuse me? Like, I'm so happy with this. So um, this box is always so fun. You do get color. You do get really awesome makeup. Again, no skincare in this box. You always get guaranteed that you will get a palette. Sometimes you get more than one palette in this box. I thought that the March box was fantastic. I'm so excited about the purple moment that's going on. And then again, she does also have the nail subscription as well. Again, you would get four to five. You wouldn't just get two um, as well. So if you kind of want some nails too, or you're more of a nail gal than a face makeup gal, whatever, definitely check that out. I will leave my coupon code, all the details, and my 10% off coupon code down below in case you're interested in signing up. All right, up next, let's dive into the Fruit for Thought Box for March. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Fruit for Thought Box, this is a monthly lifestyle subscription where you get all sorts of products from like kitchen gadgets, snacks, beauty, self care, home decor, all sorts of fun stuff in this box each month. Um, and each month has a different theme. They used to be more focused on like fruit and food themes, but they're doing some other themes in the mix as well. Um, now the March theme is pie shop, so it's going to be pie related, but it does say here that April's theme is going to be cherry blossom, which sounds super duper fun. The box is $41.99 a month, and you get five to seven products inside. Um, this is sent to me for review. For in fact, everything today is sent to me for review, except for the boxy looks, which we're gonna jump into after this, which I paid for. Um, but I do have a 10% off coupon code on this box in case you're interested in signing up. Now, I am super curious to see what's gonna be in a pie-themed box. I haven't had pie in a hot minute, and I kinda want pie right now. <gasps> oh my gosh. The first thing out is this here. So this is a peaches and cream dessert candle. <laughs> so this is a cute ha um, handcrafted pie scented candle bowl by 
um, es Escape Candle, I think is what it is. Um, oh my gosh. I don't know if you could have gotten different ones because it doesn't say peaches and cream, but oh my gosh. So there's actually like peach shaped things and like a cream dollop and it's, is this a, I think this is plastic nut club. Oh, it smells so good. And there's like the wick on top. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to burn this. Like the peach, there's like peaches and cream. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. I like want to eat it. I really could go, and it's like paint, it like looks like an actual peach, like it's painted. It's maybe a little hard to see through the plasticky stuff, but I'm happy. This is a good, this is a good subscription box Sunday, y'all. We got some good stuff. Up next, we have this here, which is lemon meringue green tea. There's six tea bags in here. This is by Gilly Bean. So brighten your day with a creamy sweetness and sunny lemon notes. It's handmade and packaged in tea bags by Gilly Beans Boutique. And this has a moderate level of caffeine, steep at 180 degrees for two to three minutes. I am staying away from caffeine right now. I had some caffeine the other week and it caused some problems with my anxiety. So we're cutting out caffeine again, which I always do that. And I, so I just need to avoid it. Anyway, um, so I'll probably pass this on to somebody who can tolerate caffeine a little bit better than I can, but it sounds absolutely delicious. Ooh, okay. This is a very interesting gadget from Hutzler. Um, this is a... Perfect cake and pie divider. Interesting. Um, so this divides your cake or pie into a set number of perfectly even slices. Choose from six, eight, 10, or 14. Um, dishwasher safe and BPA free. So I guess you stick this in the center and then it has like measurements of how many slices you wanna do. And then you move, you basically move this and then you slice based on this. This moves too. Oh, interesting. This is very, very cool. Okay, I've never heard of anything like this. I mean, I'm not usually baking something that big, but, and I just kind of go for it, but that cake honestly looks so good. I think I just need dessert right now. I ate dinner before this, and now I think I just need dessert. <laughs> <gasps> Guys, I'm so happy. Southern Fleet Bath Box that we just unboxed is in the box, which I love. Um, so this is from Southern Fleek Bath. Um, and we have the Blueberry Pie Scented Body Wash, which is made from scratch by Nikki Ward. She makes everything herself. <gasps> and I love a blueberry, it's my favorite. So this includes shea butter and colloidal oatmeal. Um, it bubbles up soft and silky with the perfect pH for your skin. Okay, I have to absolutely smell this. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Actually, to be honest, I found out about Southern Fleek Bath Box through this box and I think that's how Nikki found me <laughs> is because I unboxed this box and probably tagged her in the product. Shut up, shut up. You, you guys know I'm like obsessed with blueberry scented and flavored things. I don't know why because I don't even actually like, I will eat blueberries but I don't like love blueberries more. Like I like watermelon and raspberries and other things better than blueberries and peaches and like whatever but this smells so good. She's had blueberry scented stuff in her subscription box before and I live for a blueberry moment. This is good. This is top tier good. I'm so, I like have a full size body wash that I just opened and I'm like, mm, put it to the side because we're putting this in the shower because I want to smell like blueberry pie. Ooh, up next we have a pie server. It's a very fun color. Um, so this is a high grade glazed melamine pie server from French Bull NYC, which is a scratch and shatter, shatter resistant, non-absorbent and BPA free. Great for the home or as a gift to serve pie in style. Dishwasher safe, hand wash recommended and do not use microwave. So this is good for pies or cakes. It's a really fun color um, and it feels really, really nice. The little pie server. This makes so much sense in a pie box. I wish it came with like a pie. Okay, well like it kind of does because this looks really good. It's a from Betty Lou's apple cinnamon fruit bar. Um, this is gluten-free and all natural, um, taste of homemade baked cobbler. All the sugars come from natural fruit and fruit juice. <gasps> okay, after I've been filming, this might be my little night-night snack because <laughs> it tastes like a piece of pie and I kind of need a piece of pie right now. Um, so I'm here for this. And then we get some chocolate. This is from Hammond's and this is coconut cream pie chocolate. Uh, so this is a delicious combination of decadent milk chocolate with creamy ganache and shredded coconut. Um, wow, this sounds really, really good. And that is everything inside of the Fruit for Thought box for March, the pie-themed box. I thought it was so fun. Um, my favorite things are, <laughs> and the pie, I mean the peach candle, but I'm also very excited to try this. Everything in here is really awesome. I felt like it was so on theme and so good for a pie-themed box. I'm actually really excited for the cherry blossom 
box next month for, for that. As you saw, as you've seen from the skin store unboxing earlier, I love the rituals like like cherry blossom scent stuff. So I'm a big cherry blossom fan and very excited to see what's in the April box. Again, I do have a 10% off coupon code in case you're interested in signing up. All right, up next, let's dive into my Boxylux box for March of 2023. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Boxylux, this is going to be the very last Boxylux because Boxylux and the Ipsy X or Boxycharm and Ipsy are merging and the Boxycharm, excuse me, the Boxylux and the Ipsy X are becoming the icon box. So it's gonna be like the same thing, it's just gonna be called something different. Um, but the boxy looks that I have is $59.99 every quarter. So it's a quarterly upgrade of the base box, which the base box is going away. So all this is not gonna mean anything here soon. Um, but you get eight um, full size products inside. There is a $1.99 handling fee as well. And now I have unboxed the PR box on my channel already. So you may have seen that. This is my paid for one. I think there's a lot of stuff that's the same, but I wanted to unbox it just for you guys to see anyway. When? Oops, you open it up. That is what it looks like. The first thing that I'm pulling out is from Pat McGrath Labs, and this is their Celestial Nirvana Eyeshadow Palette, which retails for $36. Oops, I was holding it upside down. Now, I did already get this palette. I think there was another one that you could have gotten that had, like, pink shades, but I got the same one again. So, um... I don't remember. I told I told my I let Rachel look in here, my sister, and I was like, you have you get to pick first, and then anything else I will put in a future giveaway. So I'm not sure whether or not she wanted this one. If not, I will put this one in a future giveaway for you all. Now, in my PR video, I do try on the products. So if you want to see me try on this eyeshadow palette, I do that in the PR box. Up next, another repeat. It is from Iconic London, and this is their multi-use lip and cheek palette. Now, I'm gonna be fully honest, this one will go in a giveaway, and I have already thrown away the one from that video because I didn't like it at least not for me personally I don't like to use cream products on my cheeks I use it on my lips and I did not feel impressed from it on my lips but I know that there are some people out there who will really really love something like this so I'll put this in a giveaway in the future I don't have one in this video now up next is something different from my PR box this is from Fenty Beauty and this is their pre-show glow instant retexturizing 10% AHA treatment plus reusable applicator which retails for 40 minutes <laughs> Excuse me $40 40, 40 minutes who am I I was reading like the description says have a minute and I just my brain just combined that um now I don't really understand what this is I'm gonna be really honest you get this like this and this and I'm like, is this their toner? I'm confused. So what does it say? Glow big with no downtime. Um, it clarifies, purifies, and smooths skin by gently clearing out dull cells on the surface and going deep into pores, smooth, refine, and brighten, and even texture over time. I've had their toner, but I guess this is different from that. So it says, wet the reusable applicator and your face with water. Pour a small amount of solution onto the applicator and scrub face for 30 to 60 seconds. Rinse and use two times a week for best results. Okay, this is probably a deeper exfoliation than what I'm used to so it doesn't really have a scent but it's in the pretty Fenty packaging okay I'll try it like it's definitely cool it seems really little but I guess that this is full size because it comes with this I don't really know but I love Fenty skin and I'm happy to get it especially because I haven't tried it before up next another repeat but this one's a really fun one because it's drunk elephant um so this is the drunk elephant tlc happy scalp scrub which retails for 36 dollars and is a new brand to boxy charm it's really fun. Um, I'm excited to try this out. Um, and I think you put this in before you get in the shower, but I can't remember. Um, yeah, before showering, when hair is dry, you apply this directly to the scalp and massage, allow to sit for 10 minutes or more, and then rinse. This might be hard for me because I don't like to wait. <laughs> so I don't know if I'll want to do that. Like, I don't know. Um, but still very exciting. I love that we're getting starting to get drunk elephant in subscription boxes. All right, up next, this is not was not in my other box, but I've definitely gotten this a bunch before. This is the Tarte Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost Moisturizer, which retails for $39. I, I like it, and I've tried it, but it does not work for me during the winter slash this season. It's not moisturizing enough for me, which is interesting because I am an oily skinned gal. And so I need a gel moisturizer, but it was leaving my skin feeling a little bit dry and flaky. So I think this might be really good for me in the summer. So I'm gonna try it again in the summer. And if I don't like it, then that'll be, means I don't, it's not gonna work for me. But still not a bad thing to get. Up next, we have some brushes from LYS Beauty. This is their Complexion Brush Duo, which retails for $30. 
And if I just look like I shifted, it's because I went to go grab these and then I decided to sit on my leg, which is, I don't know what I'm up to. Anyway, these are the ones that I already got. I'm going to, I'm going to put, give these away. Um, but these are the two brushes. So you get a foundation and a foundation brush, which is this one. They're very soft and it's got like the soft touch mat. And then this is a sculpt and a bronzing brush. Up next, we have the KVD Beauty Tattoo Pencil Liner. Um, which is a gel pencil liner, just a regular black liner. I'm not even going to take it out because I've already gotten this and it's just a boring black liner. <laughs> and last but not least is different and is actually kind of fun. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is the liquid lipstick, which retails for $20. And I got mine in malt, <laughs> which I think might be a little bit dark for me, unless I want to go vampy vibes. And Anastasia, or whatever, what's her actual name? She, for the icon box, she is the first, what do they call it? Curator? Um, which I think is really cool. And this is the shade. <laughs> to be honest, if I'm going for like a dark look, I don't mind it. And I do like the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. And if oh, if you have a darker skin tone, this would be a, like a stunning, like almost nude color. Mm. On me, it goes vampy. But if you if you got dark skin, this would be beautiful. Um, so really, really love it. Um, I don't know if it's going to be my everyday wearing shade, but to get an Anastasia liquid lip in a box, I think is still really fun. All right. And that's everything in my boxy Lux for March, my paid for version. I know I went by quickly, but I go in much more depth in my PR video. And a lot of these are repeats. Um, I think I prefer my PR version to this version. I still think this version is good. And I, I thought it was a good boxy Lux to go out on. So no complaints there. I'm curious if you've seen both my PR video and this one, which one do you like better? I prefer the PR one, but maybe you like this one better. So definitely let me know down below. And that is everything in this week's subscription box Sunday. This is a fun one. I feel like we got a, a lot of really good stuff this week, even though it's a little bit smaller than the other weeks, but um, I'm really excited. So favorite box, favorite product. Well, my favorite box, unsurprisingly, is going to be the Southern Fleet bath box. And I'm going to sound really biased, but my favorite product is the Blueberry Pie body wash in the Fruit for Thought box that is by Southern Fleek because it smells so good. And I, you, the, the, the product just, her products just bring me so much joy. So those are my, my favorite box and product, but I'm curious, what is your favorite box of the video? What's your favorite product? I would love to hear all of your thoughts down in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you in my next video.